to another Terraria video. Now I'm pretty sure this will be the final video of this playthrough. It has been an amazing, amazing playthrough. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is like... I'm pretty sure this is my first playthrough of 1.4 that I started. And it's the play first playthrough I'll end in 1.4. I I go slow in playthroughs. Anyways, in this episode our objective is to craft the best weapon in the game it's a new weapon to 1.4 and it's called the zenith now i have a question for relogic why do you keep focusing on melee classes huh huh you're not giving enough love for other classes like ranged summoner mage no you get terror blade and zenith only for the um the what do you call it? The melee class. Anyway, um, our first objective will be to find a Star Fury. Now, I don't know if you already have a Star Fury. Nope, it's just a Star Wrath. So, we gotta search these Sky Islands. And most of the sky hasn't been searched yet. So, we're gonna use this Martian Saucer. Which is absolutely amazing for this type of stuff. And we're just gonna explore the map. So, we gotta explore this part, and then this part. Now, if you didn't know, the Zenith is basically the combination of all the special swords in Terraria. Um, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. It's like a combination, it's like the final penultimate weapon. Um, there was like a vote on the name or something, and they ultimately decided for Zenith. Would you look at that? Our luck is really good! We have a Star Fury on the first one we choose. Star Fury is really weak in hard mode. Let's see. Look at how little damage that does to the Viren. Can we so can we kill this Viren with a Star Fury? I wonder. Is it possible? Probably not. I'm not gonna do that. Shoot the Viren. Probably dead now. Oh yep. Look at that. We just shoot in the sky and coins drop down. Anyway, let's go on to the next blade. That was faster than I thought we would get the um, stuff you I mean. all right guys um i think before we go for the next sword which is i'm pretty sure the enchanted sword from the sword shrine i'm pretty sure we got a um ooh, B-Nade. i just looked at b and was like throw i love these man but I i'm saying i'm pretty sure we gotta go get a void bag that would be um pretty helpful because it basically doubles your inventory slots we need a void back and a void vault or something. Anyway, we gotta find the materials needed. Alright. I made a trip to the jungle recently off camera. Uh, for these three items that we might... We'll probably need when crafting the zenith. Um, alright. So for the void bag, we need a jungle spores. I think tissue samples? And bones, probably. I'm pretty sure it was bones. I don't remember where you craft it though. So let's just see if we can craft it here. Nope, you can't craft it here. Let me go check where you craft this void bag because I'm pretty sure it's pretty damn useful. All right, boys, it is in the crimson. Uh, you can craft it at the crimson altar. So we gotta find one of those, which is right here. Perfect. Void vault and void bag. Heck yeah. So it's basically like an ender chest. And Void Bag is basically, you can, it's basically like an auto ender chest. If you're comparing it to Minecraft, but I don't, I don't like comparing stuff to Minecraft. Alright, let's just duplicate the Void Vault and the Void Bag. This will basically double our thing. Let's see, where is it? Okay, Void Bag. We'll need to put it in our inventory. And then the Void Vault. Where's the Void Vault? Vault. There it is. Let's put it um, right here. So basically, if, if our inventory is full, it will go inside the void bag, which in turn will go into the void vault. And yeah, it's basically a double inventory space. This is pretty damn good, guys. This is really damn good. Alright, so let's go on a trip to find the enchanted sword. I'm pretty sure I found an en enchanted sword before. Before the whole character get deleted thing. Um, so my map got deleted and I don't remember where it is. 
So we're just gonna keep exploring the plains on the overworld and probably some caves. We've explored that one, not in the map. But I'm pretty sure that one doesn't lead to anything. We'll check it later. It's a pretty big cave system. I don't wanna check. I, I don't think there's a shaft down there. But I'm pretty sure we have found a shaft before. Problem is, I don't know where though. See, it, I think it could be one of these holes. You see, there's torches down there, but it just cuts off. That means I've only traveled above it. So maybe it's in one of those holes. Too bad my uh, my character was accidentally deleted. So my, I, although it was recovered, but like my map um, was not. So everything was blank and I had to discover everything again. So I left some places undiscovered. Now let's check one of these holes. Nope, nothing here, nothing here. Too bad, that's too bad. All right, I love this vortex booster because it's one of the two lunar wings that actually like make you go hard. Oh, this could be it. Got chicken nugget? I ate that chicken nugget. Heck yes, chicken nuggets are good. Right, did I bring a shine potion? Probably should drink that instead of using torches. Ooh, okay. All right. Whoa! Oh my goodness, I am smart. Yeah, I told you, look, there's a staircase right here. We found this before, but I didn't go inside it. That's so weird. Yep, all right, let's hope we don't get, um, let's hope we don't get a Terragrim because even though I would love a Terragrim, we don't need it for Zenith. We got the enchanted sword, boys. Shoots an enchanted sword beam. Damn, I'm, I'm, I, I, I remember stuff properly. All right, look. It's really friggin' weak. <laughs> it's so weak. Okay, let's just uh, duplicate it. And let's see what sword we need to get next. All right, guys. It seems like the next sword we need to get is the beekeeper. Which means we have to fight the queen bee. So, I don't know where the hives are. So, I'm just gonna craft the bee nation. And also shred all these hornets with my chlorophy. Oh my, okay. All right, so we need honey blocks for the bee nation. We need high block for the opinion. Oh my goodness, our shrew my digging claw is amazing for this. Because it kills the bees and also gives us hives. Alright, we already have alright enough to do kit. Okay, what we need is oh my god, there's so many things here. Oh my god, okay, kill them all. Kill them all. Alright, so once we got this, we just need to basically destroy the rest of the hive. And let the honey flow into the water. Why are there so many spawns? There's way too many spawns. Did I accidentally turn my spawns to times 10? Yeah, I did. Whoops. I usually do that for farming only. Because I'm too lazy to grind so much. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get all the honey blocks. Get all the honey blocks. How much do I need? 100? Alright. I don't think we have enough in this water pool. Damn it. Is there another water pool? Yep, right down there. Let it flow, let it flow, let everything flow. Okay, everything's flowing down, good. Give more space to flow. And also let me pack. There's so many bulbs everywhere. Oh my goodness, all right. It's starting to turn into honey. So we're gonna mine all the honey. Oh wait, never mind. we already have enough. Perfect. What else do we need for our bee mission? Got hives. Got honey blocks. I think we actually need bottled honey. And probably stingers. That's what I'm guessing. Um, bottle. We have empty bottles. Good. Alright, so just jump in the honey. Um, apparently that's not enough honey. Alright, craft. Nope. I need to get in. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll just get in here. Craft the bottled honey. Enough to duplicate. They count as healing potions. Whoops, I, I accidentally drank one. No, that's so annoying. I need to craft for more then. All right, now we have um, unlimited bottled honey, unlimited honey blocks, and unlimited hives. And look at that. We can craft one already. Oh, they're the last ingredient stingers. So I've crafted two. And I have, oh, I always, I can craft a lot more. All right, I have this. I have this. I need honey blocks. Now I can craft even more abominations. And we're gonna go to the surface of the jungle instead of the underground jungle. Because underground is hard to shoot my chlorophyte bullets. This should be easy to grind. We should just summon, kill. Well, okay. 
Alright, then summon. Then kill. Oh, wait, we already got two? Well, that's really convenient. I thought we didn't get any. Legendary bee. Wait. This used to be auto swing, didn't it? Did they remove auto swing on beekeeper? What? Why would you do that? I'm pretty sure we got everything we need from that. So yeah, on to the next sword. All right, guys, our next weapon we need is Seedler, which is by Plantera. So we gotta kill Plantera. There he is, and kill him, kill him, kill him, my Stardust Dragon, and my Guns of Death, blazing. I did not get it first try. Well, it's to be expected because it's like an 11% drop chance or something. So yeah, I got a few Plantera bulbs around, but like, don't know how much we have, and I don't know whether RNG will kill us again or not. Then again, we had really good RNG with the um, Bee Queen. Alright, but for Queen Bee, we didn't need good RNG because I could farm it over and over again. Unlike Plantera, which I need to wait for. Did, did it drop anything? Leaf Blower? Nope. Two Leaf Blowers in a row? Please don't do the same thing as Xeno Staffs. Alright, do we have any more Plantera bulbs that I can see clearly? Clearly not! Where are Plantera bulbs? Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I only saw two when I was venturing around in the jungle. So let's just keep searching around. Hopefully there's more than two. Because if there's only two, then uh, we are so screwed. We are so screwed. I would hate everything in the world. Alright, alright. Just keep searching. Just keep searching for Plantera bulb. I can always wait if there's none. But like, also, I don't like waiting. Alright, let's just mine to this part, and hopefully there's one right here. Ho hopefully, please. Yes, alright, good. Okay, there's one right outside the temple, which we just mined. Now where are they? Okay. Oh yes, you're already getting killed by my dragon. Now just kill it with my guns. Eat your chlorophyte! Got a nettle burst, did not need that. F for me. Gonna keep swimming down around. Ooh, shoot my digging claw. Can't dig um temple. So we need this to dig the temple. Which is much slower than the shoot my digging claw. So I'll just dig around it. I guess. Wait, this this would be faster, wouldn't it, if I dig straight down? It would be. Oh no, I'm drowning. Oh no, oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up. Oh boy, okay, good. Man, this feels slow. I haven't mined this slow in a while. Since I got the shoe my digging claw, I was just like, brrrr, and everything died. Okay, let's barge into the temple for some breath. And also maybe can go down faster. Staircases. Whoa, I stepped on a trap. Ouchie. Okay, we're at the bottom. To mine part this past this. And already, we're at the bottom of the temple. Ooh, that's another. Alright, I wanna see how they look like in the map. They just look like pink things. That's so, that's so, um, that's so hard to see. They look exactly like Orichalcum. Damn it. Alright, are, are there any pink things? Are there any pink things? So if you hover over them, you get Plantera's ball, but it's hard to hover over them. Where are they? Ooh, did I just hover over? I just some chlorophyll thorns or something. Alright, let's just keep finding, just keep finding. No, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah, I don't see anything. Well, maybe our minimap's just not updated. Let's hope we get a Seedler right now. If RNG hates me, we won't. Alright. There's the plant. There's the plant. Die, plant! Die! Pygmy staff! Really? Really? I don't want this. We got a life root though, that's really nice. Damn it. Alright, I'll, I'll keep searching for plantera bulbs. 
Alright, this is a plan terrible that we have found. Time to awake it and kill it on a cat's minecart because yes. Oh look, there's a life pistol. Which we don't need. Yes, eat the plant, my dragon. It is your food. He's not climbing up here. There we go, now I can kill it. It is now dead. Got a flower pal. Not good. Not good. This is not a sign of good RNG. Alright. A bit of digging down and we have found another Plantera's bulb. Where is Plantera? Where is Plantera? Where are where is she? Where is okay, she's at the bottom left. Alright. Eat Plantera. Eat her. Eat all of her. Eat her petals. Her vines. And let me shoot her in the face a bit. Still, again, metal bruise and the pygmy stuff? Why? Why? Just give me a freaking Satanler! Alright, another Plantera's bulb and we're going to shoot it. Alright, okay, never mind. The dragon's already eating the heck out of it. Go, my dragon! Now let's shoot it with its own ore. Flower pal. Let me throw this into the lava where it deserves to be because I hate getting the same things over and over again. Look, let's let's just throw let's throw everything into lava. Throw you into lava. Throw you into lava. Throw you into lava. I'm just mad, okay? All right, literally like 5 seconds later, we found another bulb right above. Great. Perfect. Let's hope it actually gives us the thing we want this time. Plantera, I've literally killed 5,000 of your bulbs. I will keep killing you and your brothers and your sisters over and over again if you just if you just don't give me that spring seedler. This is what I hate about Terraria. It's RNG sucks. I mean, it's mostly just my luck, but it's also like RNG sucks in general. All right, just shoot Ter Plantera. Did I get anything? Pygmy staff. Great. Look, look at behold this pygmy staff. Behold all this trash. That will be quick trash. Ah! We have found another Plantera bulb. Please, please, please give me a seedler. I mean, just give me a seedler, man. It's not that hard. Come on. Come on, Plantera. I know you'll do it for me. Alright, it's right here, just kill it, just kill it, just kill it in this small space. Delete Plantera from existence. We got Sailor! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! Heck yes! Boy, we got a Sailor! Working for this entire time. We got it's bombs. It's you literally eat bombs from this Sailor. This is such a great weapon that I won't be using because it's a Pantera weapon and not a Moon Lord weapon. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we got that before I, dri I went. I drive into insanity. All right, let's go find the next weapon. All right, everyone. I think that's where I'll end this part of the video. Um, this video was much longer than I thought, so I'm, I will be splitting it into two parts. Uh, it's 40 minutes long, so I'm splitting it to 20 minutes each. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and hit the no uh, notification bell if you enjoyed this video, want more content, and want to get notified whenever I upload. And yeah, uh, hopefully I see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye!